Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to merge multiple data frames of a list in R. So in the video I'm going to show you two different examples and both of these examples rely on the data that we can create with lines 1 to 10 of our code. So if you run these 10 lines of code, you will see that at the top right of our R Studio, several new data objects appear. And we can also have a look at our example list by running uh, this code here. And uh, you can see our list contains three data frames, which all have an ID column. So now if we want to merge these three data frames of the list into one single data frame, then we can create our own merge function, which um, I will do here in lines 12 to 14 of the code. So if you run this code, you will see that a new function appears at the top right, which is called my merge. And now we could apply the reduce function of the base installation of R to our own function. And uh, then within this reduce function, we would have to specify the name of our list. So first we have to specify the name of our new function. And second, we have to specify the name of our list. And if we run this code, you will see that a new data frame is created, which actually is a merge of all data sets that were contained in the list. Yeah, so what you have to consider here is that only the IDs are kept, which were existing in all of the three data sets. However, you could change that here in line 13 of the code by specifying additional arguments within the merge function. I have another tutorial on this on my YouTube channel, so you could check it out there. However, in this video, I want to show you another example on how to merge multiple data frames of a list based on the tidyverse package. And uh, if we want to use the tidyverse package, we need to install and load the tidyverse package, as you can see here in lines 18 to 19 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it here with line 19. And after loading the tidyverse package, we can apply the reduce function, um, as you can see here in line 21 of the code. And if you run this code, you will see that, again, the same data frame is created as in example one. Yeah, so in the video, I have basically shown you two different examples on how to merge a list of data frames in the R programming language. However, if you want to learn more about that, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial on the merging of multiple data frames in R. And in this tutorial, I'm explaining the code of this video in more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial in the description of this video, so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, of course, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more R videos in future. That's it for today. Thanks a lot. See you next time.